So we're here at the Iron Booth, and uh, who are you? My name is Isaac Yonemoto. So what do you do? Uh, so I work for a company called R Store, and what we do is we uh, make uh, container deployment for high performance computing work. So what are you showing here with this whole uh, uh, range of uh, boards right there? What, what kind of boards are these? So these are Raspberry Pi 3s. Um, we know that there's going to be a lot of interest in supporting ARM platform for high performance computing in the future. So it's very important to us to make sure that the containers that we support, uh, Singularity containers, um, function uh, in the ARM environment. So what I did was I uh, built a uh, Pi stack um, with a backplane of Ethernet. It gives us easy connectivity to test out, um, test out Singularity containers. And what I found I was able to do quite easily was to put Singularity on these machines and deploy a compute task across the entire, uh, across the entire stack. So uh, what is a Singularity container? What does it do? Uh, so what a Singularity container does is it creates a, con a consistent environment, consistent and reproducible environment for, um, uh, for you to run your compute in. Um, so one thing that dogs a lot of scientists is the inability to uh, get uh, mix and match configurations. So if you specify that you've installed X, Y, and Z software, uh, and you give that list to somebody else, um, it may not run on their computer because they have other dependencies um, uh, installed, and that conflict causes a lot of consternation. And uh, what are you showing here on the screen? Um, so what I'm showing here is just a, a shell of the, of the Raspberry Pi, um, and what I'm able to do is I'm able to very quickly uh, just run on the right-hand side here, Julia, which is my favorite, oops, uh, which is my favorite. Um, what does Julia do? It's a programming language. So what you can see is that the programming language is completely encapsulated uh, within, within, the, um, within the container. And so I can do all the normal things that what I would be able to do with uh, the programming language. Um, but the secret is that this isn't actually the, bi uh, the Julia binary itself. What it is is what it is is it's an entire environment that is completely firewalled off of the rest of the off of the rest of the um, computer. So inside, for example, if you're familiar with Unix, um, I can uh, find a, a root file system that is distinct from the outside <coughs> root file system. So if we compare that to what, what I would do if I were outside, they're completely different. So this is a big deal? For the for the ARM ecosystem, or I think so because um, Singularity is currently the most popular uh, containerization software for high performance computing applications. A lot of supercomputing se uh, systems will support it, especially over Docker, which is the uh, sort of the exascale uh, containerization technology for various reasons. For example, that um, the setup is more more amenable to the HPC environment. Uh, Docker containers have to run a root process that, that spawns other, other tasks, whereas a um, Singularity container is completely self-contained binary. So, so that's one of the reasons. There are other reasons as well, but um, that's why um, Singularity is preferred in the HPC community. And so we see that um, having support for ARM uh, is a big step for ARM uh, in order to gain, uh, it's a good step for ARM to get uh, bigger adoption in the HPC uh, so, area. So many people in the HPC community are using uh, Singularity containers? That's right, especially uh, among like academic supercomputing facilities. And uh, so it, uh, it's already uh, fully uh, like uh, a standard kind of, people are really using it. That's correct. And it's the best way to, to utilize the maximum performance in those supercomputers or? It, it's the best way to create a uh, the, the, perfor the performance delta between running on metal and running on Singularity is very low. Uh, it's a very low profile container. Um, I mean, there's of, of course a little bit of a cost, but the real benefit is that you get a reproducible computing environment.